Hello, Balmy Badger Army. Yes, we're fresh back from Madame Webb. Me and Badger Jr. had a lovely time on our Valentine's date. And it was a lovely good old time as well. And I want you guys to know that this film is a lot better than what the critics have been saying. Now, everyone's going to be like, oh, no, Badger, come on. It's just as bad as Morbius. Uh. Well, you know what? I actually enjoyed Morbius. It was a popcorn fun film. And this is exactly what Madame Web is. But it's a lot better. Yes, it delights. In fact, is definitely based in, and that's my opinion, and I know I'm making an assumption, but I'm trying not to make an ass out of you and me, but, 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 but. It feels like it's in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man universe. Whether or not that was the original plan, I'm not sure. But it feels like it should be. Does that make sense? Hmm. But it does. It has the same aesthetics. It has the same sort of people. It's an interesting time frame. And it just feels like it should be based there. I mean, there was a lot of convoluted plot details. Was it Tobey Maguire's universe? Was it lots of other different universes? Which universe is it based in? If you guys know, please hit me up in the comments because it feels like it's a 90s sci-fi thriller. And that's not really a bad thing. I know we're in late 2020s, but it feels like an old school Sony science fiction superhero film. And it's a fun ride. It takes a little bit of time to get going. And you think, oh, what's going on here? You know, I want to see more development, development, development. But then once it gets cracking, it's there. And you think, oh, yeah, this is good. And you think, oh, yeah, I liked that bit. And that bit makes sense now. And I enjoyed this bit because of this bit. And not being funny, everyone's going to say, oh, that's convoluted. That's silly. Why did they do that? Because they're teenagers, you know. They're teenagers with potential superpowers. Of course, they're going to go off and do reckless things and get themselves in trouble, you know. And Madame Webb's going to have to come and save the day and all that sort of stuff. And that is part of its charm. It is a popcorn film that's enjoyable to watch. You can turn your brain off a little bit. And then when it gets complicated, you have to turn it back on and figure out what the heck's going on. But it's nice. It's a fun film. It's, you know, a 12A. And I wouldn't even say it's like a harsh 12A. Like, it's 12A just. And, you know, I think it would have been all right as a PG. But they obviously thought it would be all right. You know, it needed to be a 12A. Just for some silly scenes at the beginning, I guess, with some gunshots and stuff. But mostly it's PG. And I had no harm taking Badger Jr. to it. I feel it was appropriate for myself and him. I didn't really see there being anything too bad in it at all. So, yeah, there you go. And aesthetically, it was really good. It had that 90s feel. That's when it was pretty much set. It had lots of fun. It had a good soundtrack. And it had lots of really cool effects in it as well. And, of course, you had a bad guy in there as well that was an interesting mixture of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and a Miles Morales style black and red costume, which was really fun. And you also had um, the science fiction side of it with Madame Webb being able to time travel slightly and change the past and the future, which was really interesting the way they'd done that. And the effects, the way they did that really made sense. And if, of course, you've seen Enter the Spider-Verse and all that sort of thing, then, you know, the effects make sense. And, of course, if you've seen Loki and other things like that with the tree of life and all that sort of stuff, it's a similar effect. They're definitely going for that sort of effect where it's bright colours and entering into different universes and things like that. So, you know, which universe is this based on? I have no idea. But it definitely feels like a retro 90s science fiction film. Now... Does it necessarily need to be connected in with Spider-Man? Not so much, because it has that ability of whether or not it had Spider-Man in it or not, it has the ability to be a fun film regardless. And I think they didn't really need the Spider-Man 
sort of click. They could have made it any sort of character and it would have worked. But it did work with Madame Webb. So I thought it was lots of fun. Now, the one thing I will say, and this is the Omega downside for me, is that they introduced these cool costumes and technically they're never even in them. They show them in the trailer. And you think, ooh, cool costumes. The characters have got really cool costumes. They're going to have a massive fight with these costumes. And then they don't. Which is a real shame. That is definitely the wasted opportunity there. And also, Badger Jr. wanted me to mention the fact that there's not enough henchmen. It's mainly just one bad guy. He would have preferred it if there was loads and loads of spider bad guys. And that would have given them an excuse and a reason to use the costumes more. So that was my only gripe, is that you didn't get to see enough costumed Spider-Man action, and you didn't really get to see uh, as much as you'd want to. But as a science fiction thriller, it holds up brilliantly. So an action adventure, fantastic. Lots of science fiction adventures. Reminded me of something from the 90s. In my opinion, these are all positives. So please take that as you will. It's a fun family film for everyone to watch. So please bear that in mind when I give it a good solid 5.5 out of 10 for popcorn value. And it's much better than what the critics are saying. So please do check it out. Thank you very much for watching. And comment below your thoughts on it if you went to see it on release date too. Bye! And of course, all the actors were brilliant in it. I don't see why people moaned about the acting, because I thought it was great too. And I'll see you next time. Yes. Go on. Just telling you that I, I honestly rate it 8 out of 10. There you go. 8 out of 10 for Badger Jr. and 5.5 for me. And I'll see you next time.